At the end of the academic year, I normally put on a gown and give a speech to the 200 or so fellows and students at Wilson, setting out what has happened in the course of the year just closing. It's probably the most formal occasion in the college calendar. For obvious reasons, it won't be happening this year. This last year will go down as one of the most abnormal in Wolfson's history. We're just starting to emerge shell-shocked, having been stranded um, for the last few months on our own private islands, aware that we're part of a larger whole, but sometimes feeling a little isolated. Some of our islands have been large and comfortable, others smaller, sometimes claustrophobic. Those living here at college, some 200 people throughout the crisis, have had something of both, studying in their rooms or public spaces, but also able to get out and eat socially, distanced takeaway lunches on the harbour lawn behind me, or getting to know the walks in the meadows across the river over there much better than they ever thought they would. The college is now returning to life. People are starting to come back but we've all been through a collective shock. A football commentator would call this year a game of two halves. The first half under the normal rules and the second half when the rules went out the window. So what did we learn about the college's values in the blast furnace of the pandemic? First, that we're a place which embodies the value of expertise. Donald Trump and Michael Gove can scorn experts as much as they wish, but it was people like Anthony Fauci and Chris Whitty, medical advisors, who emerged as the real heroes of the crisis. And it's no coincidence that Chris Whitty is an alumnus of Wilson and indeed a former chair of General Meeting. Second, that we're a place which puts the welfare of our students first. We quickly established a Wolfson coronavirus hardship fund and generosity in large sums and small packets came in. I'm now delighted to be able to confirm that we have a fund worth over a quarter of a million pounds which will let us support students and early career researchers this year, next year and in the years to come who face acute hardship as a result of the coronavirus crisis. And my warm thanks to all our friends around the world who have made this possible. Third, that we are a place which cares for our staff. We've kept all our staff on full pay throughout this experience, and we are determined to avoid redundancies at all possible in the financially difficult year ahead. The quality of the student experience in college depends above all on the quality of our staff. And fourth, the college's sheer inventiveness. For the college's May Day concert this year, online, of course, poets, musicians, other performers took to the virtual stage and gave us a breathtaking example of the quality of artistry at the college. The college bar, unable to open conventionally, started deliveries of fine ales to front door. The catering team delivering meals to those self-isolating and setting up a deal to provide grocery direct to students. Old Wolves, lecturing on ancient Rome down 2020 Zoom, a digital scavenger hunt, a lockdown photography competition, a new online community of gardens. Necessity is, as they say, the mother of invention, and there are many creative solutions which are already part of the new norm, and there will be no going back. Let me end with this thought. The Wolfson community is large and diverse. There are some of us on the medical front line, working in hospitals or on vaccines. There are others acting as what you might call test pilots in vaccine trials. There are a number in the UK and around the world who've encountered the virus and lived through it. And sadly, we all know people who have been its victims. There are older and more vulnerable members of our community who remain at particular risk and who are very much in our thoughts. 
for all of us, 2020 will remain in our memories inseparable from the virus. But I hope that for all of us, 2020 will also be inseparable from the community spirit, and especially that Wolfson community spirit, which has been so defining. Expertise, generous solidarity, and collective inventiveness, that's who we are, who you are, and it's who we will remain. Have a great summer.